everybody. Foggy this direction, but just hold on for a second. Because as we swing around the other way, not so foggy. Okay, so foggy in the east, clear in the west. Got Princess out, and we were on the Action 5 Pro. Uh, I figured it was its turn today. I don't even have the shift cam or anything set up, but who knows. You never know when I might pull out the iPhone. <laughs> it's just so much to set up. Okay, so when I put this thing together the other day, I accidentally put the mount on the wrong direction because I have it set up so that the light is on the side of when it's filming me. Come on, Priya, we gotta walk. Um, so I flipped the, flipped the mount around real quick and we are good to go. It's, uh, it's brisk. It was 33 when we got up at like seven something this morning. Video is rendering right now. Um, kind of ends in a really bizarre way. Um, <clears throat> but wait for, uh, well, you've already seen it. So we had a raccoon and a buck together in the yard, the fox and the buck. It was, uh, wildlife menagerie i'm gonna have to finish downloading all the videos because there is a butt ton more to download for today's video so but i've cleared these cameras off finally i am running internal again on this right now because it's just a simple day vlog i uh, don't need a you know extreme storage amount but uh, <laughs> i really had to run those memory cards down on both the uh, action 5 and the pocket 3 with all the driving footage so yeah, so Kinzua Bridge is now Sunday. It's supposed to be like just under 70 degrees. Uh, clear skies and sunny. And the dogs are allowed on the platform. Tim made multiple phone calls yesterday and the girl's like, as long as they're under control and on a leash, they're allowed, they can go out. Taylor's probably gonna be freaked out. So I will have a secondary leash just in case we need to separate for a little bit and hold him back. What you thinking, Puddin' Pie, huh? She goes, just, just sniffing everything. It's a new day. Oh, and I got a piddle right here. <laughs> I'm a little concerned, though, because a lot of my pictures are a little blurry from the pixel. Um, I'm hoping once they render, they clear up, because, well, hello, Lupin. What you doing? Priya's arch nemesis is here. <laughs> You're Priya's Archie. Yes, you are. What you doing, bud? They let you out again. This is how you get stolen all the time. I don't, do you have your tracker on? Of course you don't have your tracker on. That's, uh-huh. You better go tell sister and mom to let me back in the house, because, yeah, he was actually stolen for the second time. Family up top <clears throat> grabbed him and tried to deny they had him, but some, but Jen actually saw them with him. Well, this is the beautiful lighting. Actually, everything is bright right now. Yeah, these trees are going pretty fast now. It won't be long until they'll be bare. <clears throat> Capture everything I can of them. <laughs> Gotta get over to Southside too. Not today, not tomorrow. <clears throat> and Monday, Monday I take the car back over to Williamsport Auto because they're going to see what the heck's going on with that huge vibration. Oh, is that so pretty. So pretty. This is what I live for. Fall. It could stay like this all time. It is Saturday, isn't it? Happy Saturday, everybody. Oh, oh that is a good shot right there. Wow. Whether it looks anything like it does on the screen, I got a good shot. All right. Where are we going, princess? She goes, we're going this way, dad. And she was a good girl. I said she had to make another deposit last night, and she did. Uh, and then I went out, and to completely, completely honest, I didn't know until this morning. I was so mad last night. I went down here to the Dollar General parking lot, and we're shooting. Mike's telling me the degrees to shoot again, and I'm snapping photos, and my stomach got, I had such a severe stomach ache. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I can't see it. I give up for the comment. <clears throat> This morning I get up, I open like the last photo, the last, yeah, the last one I took. Sure enough, there it was. Because Mike's like, I don't understand it. We can see it in Knobles with a lot of light. My sister can see it in Harrisburg, Reading with a lot of light. You should be able to see it. Yeah, it was there. I couldn't see it with my naked eye, but I did have high steels spotlights blinding my left eye too. But the pain I was in, if I would not have had that severe stomach, I just made it back to the house. 
as it was. So I'm happy I got something out of it. I stopped the camera that time because I'm pretty sure that was Archie. <laughs> Anytime I hear a car coming, I just hit stop. I just hit stop because, you know, especially with this camera with no background blur. Yeah, there's no point in, uh, you know, doing something someone else doesn't want to be done. You know, I'm going to respect his wishes. I just think he's an ass the way he goes about it. My ADD is, where are you running off to, dude? I'm stopping looking at this thing. Yeah, you're shaking your head off. Yeah, I don't know why, but when I put this thing in ultra wide the other day to do the 10 foot high shot, it uh, went to 30 frames per second. So I'm not sure what that was all about. It was really crazy last night though. There was a, it was after like seven o'clock. And there's a bunch of cars down here at the 3D printing place. I don't know if they were running a late job or what. I'm not even seeing the sun in my screen right now, but I see it. Eh, okay, it's a little dot. That's why it's so small on this tiny screen. So that's where the iPhone and the, especially the iPhone, you can see things that you don't normally see on these other camera screens. Not the lens, but the screen itself. A lot of times there's things I, I know I'm getting with the iPhone where I don't know that I'm getting it with these other cameras. So, continuing to look for the door, I did find an DJI OEM parts.com. Uh, I think they wanted $42 for it. There was one site that came up for $15, but when I clicked on it, Google said, uh, potentially spam site so it shut me down i was got so excited i was going to order more than one <laughs> that's for sure just to have spares of course i'd probably end up losing the spares there is one more spot i want to look when we get done with dog walks i am taking out their entire uh you hammock in the back of my car just in case it slipped down over that's my last effort I could remove the back seat, but there's no real gap there. I still think, I want to think that it's still in the car because this is absolutely ridiculous of what they want to replace that part. I'm not even sure if that DJI OEM thing is a legit DJI site. It might be. It kind of looks like it, but that shit can be faked real easy. So. If anybody out there in internet land can tell me some place they've gotten the doors from, other than where I've looked, let me know. Hey, do you want to go sniff the vet this morning? Because I think they're closed. Why would they be open on a weekend? Yeah, so my travels last night, I took the tripod, I had the RX-10, and I came down through here, walked around the bushes over here by the vet, all the way out to behind the guardrail and was trying because Venus was Mike's like look for Venus Venus was over here so yeah he said look this was the confusing part he goes east of Venus this is south I'm like trying to figure out what the hell he meant by east of Venus but yeah it was it was like right in this section here I think it's still visible tonight but it'll be I'll be I'll be at work so it'll be, it'll be way too late tonight for me to get it. All right. Since they're closed, we'll let you sniff a little bit. Get your puppy sniffs on. High Steel here has got like a thousand freaking spotlights lighting this place up. You see the big ones on the side of the building there? They're all over. And it like, and I was standing back on the other, on the uh, gravel part behind Dollar General there shooting this way. Uh, it was a perfect spot, honestly. If I would not have not felt good, I probably would have snapped a few more photos, but I was getting very frustrated because I wasn't seeing it. That's pretty with the fog coming through. And all the frickin' power lines. Frickin'. I think I can let that in. <laughs> Add an R. What are you sniffing, baby? What you sniffing? Ooh, ooh. Are you going to see your reflection this morning? I don't know. You might. I can see me. She's now come around the bush yet. There she is. See your reflection. Your ghost version of you is in the window. 
Yeah, so most of the video will probably just be of this morning. I go to work 1 to 8.30. Uh, my first night closing without any other manager there. So uh, this will probably be the vlog today. And then get, so, get myself done and edited tomorrow, or tonight, for tomorrow. Uh, get everything cleared off. <sighs> Tim's supposed to be here around 9 o'clock in the morning. So we can get the hell out of here because we're looking at 2 hours and 47 minute drive time. I'm going to make a pot of coffee and put it in the thermos and take a couple travel mugs. So we'll have coffee, but it's supposed to be a really nice day. Um, there, he checked the weather there. So that's great that the dogs can come, but I probably will take, like I said, an additional leash. I took the whole duffel bag out of my car and that kind of messed things up when we, when we went out the other day because the dogs couldn't be separated and I had them both and they were just being, <laughs> they're not used to walking with mommy. So they were having a, a time of it, and so was I. Come on, let's finish our walk. Let's go. He's like, oh, you got that camera in my face again? Daddy, why? <laughs> because I can, that's why, princess. I can do low angles with this bad boy much easier. Should put the uh, hand strap on it, though, when I do this stuff, especially for Sunday. I don't know what camera I'm going to use. Probably a lot of them. I'm thinking about taking the RX-10 with me. I don't know why, but I just feel like the zoom range might come in handy. Don't know how much time we're going to have to really spend there because we're going to be looking at like six hours of travel time. Which, that's what sucks about it. Oh, we want to go down this way. Get our sniffs on, Priya. See, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I know what I'm doing. I'm a basset hound. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll look at these beautiful things. I don't know what this... I never did figure out what this is. I'm sure if I took a picture of it, my phone will tell me. Uh, photo... Snip... Alright. Yeah. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, these bad boys come in so handy. Yeah, Mike says bring them along because I'll figure out how to get those. I'll get those stickers off for you. Uh, I've tried to peel them, but they don't seem to want to budge, and I didn't want to mess with it too much more. But all I gotta do is uh, hold on to one. I have it on low power right now. Probably gonna charge them back up, even though tomorrow we shouldn't need them. But you never know. If you get a little bit of a breeze, your hands can get cold. And I can switch over to the other one. Oh, because the camera hand is the one that always gets the most chilled. So, ooh, hold on, Priya. Priya, hold on. I got to take some photos. Oh, this is where this comes in really freaking handy, is having the, the extension. Because I am not on the person's property. And I can get shots of these flowers. Especially these ones that are, like, really far away. So we're coming back up. I noticed this one that I was pointing at last night is finally changing. Yay. Finally changing. Boy, you don't have to back up very far with this thing. I'm telling you. This is on uh, standard D-warp. I'm like, what, 20 feet from it? <laughs> getting some really neat photos this morning. I hope. The way it looks like I'm getting really neat photos. And I can be like right underneath a tree. Like my favorite one over here, I was like standing on the road underneath it and getting the whole tree in vertical. Uh, need a cloud. That's what makes this look epic is when there's like a cloud or something behind this tree. Just, I don't know why that fascinates me. It's, to me, it's just such a beautiful shot. I don't know why. Okay, that hand needs warmed. It's starting to get cold and starting to go numb. To me, this section is the more beautiful. Those maple trees up top, eh, they're the same most of the time, but this has been what's ever changing. Of course, right now I got the sun kind of hitting me. I gotta aim away from it a little bit. Come on, Pri. Isn't it crazy? Like you're right underneath it and you're looking right up through it. And I can see the top of the tree. I'm standing in the middle of, well, three quarters away from video. 
In the photo, I was underneath it more because it's in a wide angle. I like to do like a standard D warp. But the raw photos will be ultra wide every time. So. so don't worry, guys. If you don't like the autumn color that I'm shooting, uh, it'll be gone soon enough and then I'll be depressed. <laughs> This is my time of year. Keep saying that, don't I? Well, not everybody watches every video, so. Since back to school time, I've noticed a major drop in video. You see, watch it. Actually, Priya, come here. Let's get this one from over here. Gotta keep my ears attentive for traffic. See, now this one, I'm kind of got a, eh, as soon as the sun's kind of behind those pine trees, I'm okay. That's a pretty angle. All right, I feel like this was the smart choice today. There's a couple more trees that I don't normally get pictures of going up the walkway here that we're gonna get. But I just got underneath that one. Of course, the sun's kind of hosing me on that shot. Got underneath the two along there. Priya's like very confused because I'm standing in the middle of the freaking road to take them. But what are you doing, drill face? So right now she's drill face, and then she can be slobber noggin, or slobber puss, or slobber ear. <laughs> Come on! Come on, there's nobody out. Come on, they're not out. They're all sleeping. Because I saw that little cat. Don't tell me they're not awake. I'm wondering what Priya was having a conniption fit about. You, sir. Alright, so this one here I always get with the iPhone at sunset. I walked out to the sidewalk and got that one. Got the maple tree from the playground from the backside. It's gonna be a whole montage. Gonna be a photo montage off the Action 5. I never did open that on kit and get the uh, other mount set up, so maybe I'll do that today while I'm trying to find the door. And she's staying as far away from Lupin as she can. She is petrified of him. He's such a goofy dog. He's just a tiny little kitten. <laughs> Are you harassing my Basset? Huh? Are you harassing him? Her? You little shit. You little shit. Yeah, last time I did this, I got scratched, but ooh. You gotta get your collar back on, bud. That way when the people steal you, we know how to find you. He's starting to fill out a little bit. He's still tiny, but he's starting to fill out. All the exercise he gets, it's not surprising, he's small. Shoot, he was gonna run up on her. Here he goes. You gonna go get her? Gonna go get her? She is. <laughs> She's like, hey man, stay away from me. Getting closer. He's getting closer. Sneaking up on her. <laughs> you gave up. This thing is hilarious when you go flipping through the menu too fast. It gets all confused because it gives you a voice prompt of what you're on, which is nice, but it's a little delayed. You know, it's funny because when I pick this up, I've been watching a lot of I Dig It 4 videos and whatnot and how he uses his GoPro. And going back in time, it was Street Speed 717 that really got me into using the GoPro. But to get back into an action camera instead of using the other one, watching a lot of his videos, I was like, man, you know, it does come in handy to do certain things. And this remote system i can't say highly enough about it the fact that i can switch modes turn the camera off turn the camera on i can extend the pole and get a shutter and and shoot a photo of neighbors decorations and stuff without stepping on their yard so i really wish i could get this bulldog if this lady's ever not home i'm going to get a close-up of this bulldog that's up here because it's such a cutie i did zoom in on it one time but i don't want to you know, impeach on their yard when they're home, but you can see them. Such a cute little statue. I would love to find a very detailed basset hound and min pin to put out front. I think that'd be really, really cool. Hmm, egg. Yeah, she made eggs and home tater tots or whatever they were, little potato sticks. So, had breakfast. Got spaghetti left over for lunch and probably for dinner. So that'll give me energy hopefully tonight. Um, in these closing shifts, it's just, it, it's, I've opened, 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 opened. And I'm so used to, you know, 
about two o'clock on laying down taking a nap and so doesn't vote real well for being up <laughs> he's like so many doggies to come play with me <laughs> hey you too come on buddy all righty well how far did we go one and a half miles how in the world how do we do that mateo you gonna go say hi to joe go say hi to joe be vicious <laughs> All right, come on, little dog. So, oh, we're not ending this mute for this workout. 10-10 now, and we've gone 1.57 miles. Boy, that's even showing up nice on the screen. Can I actually tell I'm filming it? <laughs> yeah. Not to say the Action 4 isn't a good camera. It's just, I feel like the improvements from myself are good making sure the mic's still there because i think this this isn't the hoodie i lost the mic the magnet to the one but it's uh like it uh, all right one more shot of these guys i'm not gonna bore you with much more of this uh, get little man here for a walk did a lot of photos so there's gonna be a nice little photo montage and uh unless something major happens i'm gonna say thanks for watching guys have a great day uh Stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow at Kinzuo Bridge.